Welcome to the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and on this episode, we're taking a look at Southern Illinois safety, Jeremy Chin. He blew up the combine, had a good showing at the Senior Bowl. Now he, there's talk that he could be the first safety taken in the 2020 NFL Draft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at two of his games, Youngstown State and Southern Illinois. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you different clips from those games to kind of illustrate the type of prospect that Jeremy Chin is. And then we'll get into kind of my overall thoughts on him and where I think he could go in the 2020 NFL Draft. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the game film. Things that, that really stands out about Jeremy Chin is he went out and put up an insane uh, combine performance showing both his elite uh, speed and explosion. And that shows up on game tape especially when it comes to covering ground in the run game. Uh, Chin usually lines up on the weak side, the, the wide side of the field, the, the field side um, as a safety over the top. Sometimes he'll line up over the slot and, and cover that guy. But like I said, he goes and shows a lot of this, uh, this speed. So this is a prime example of it. They're going to throw a quick pass out here to this, the slot receiver. He's able to fly up and make a nice open field tackle. We see that uh, another example of that in this game against North Dakota State, fly sweep, he's able to fly up and meet the, the, the wide receiver um, before he can really even get to, you know, just a short couple yard gain on third down. Here we see another quick pass out to the receiver, Chin's able to fly up and just make another open field tackle. And then this last clip, once again, you're going to see the ball kind of come out quick to the tight end, Chin's able to fly up and make another open field tackle. Now, Chin's more than just that speed guy that's going to cover a lot of ground. He can also come up and lay a hit, fill a hole. Uh, against North Dakota State, we see here, ball's going to come up the middle. He's going to be able to go over and lay a hit to drive that defender to the ground. Here against uh, Youngstown State, he's kind of come up. And here, it looks like this receiver is going to seal him off. And he's going to be set. This running back's going to be able to run around and, and get by him. But Chin's able to use his speed and power through that to help get the tackle. Yes, I know that uh, the wider, the running back was going to already being wrapped up by this defender right here. But if he gets through here, Chin's in a position to make that tackle on his own. And then lastly, Chin's right here. He's just going to come up and fill the hole uh, on this inside run. Kind of comes up, fills, and then meets that running back uh, and, and stops him there. Now, Chin's much more than just a, a tackler at the safety position. He also shows the ability to cover, and that's what we see in this uh, this clip right here. Chin's lined up, once again, on, on the field portion. He's lined up over the slot receiver. The slot receiver is going to run an out route, and Chin's going to be able to see that and come up and, and kind of jump the route to break it up. So as we watch this play unfold, a little bootleg action, he's able to come up, and right here you see get his hand up in the way. Now we'll see it, the end zone version of this, this clip as well. And as you see here, as it comes up, right here, Chin is already closing. This guy's starting to make his break, and Chin's been able to, to close in on him. And he's able to come up and right here play the ball in the air to knock it loose. And it shows once again his his speed and athleticism, but also his ball skills to come in and break up that pass. And lastly, the last this last clip that I want to show you, Chin is right here on uh, at this position right here, kind of like more of a box safety. And he's going to blitz, and he's going to come up through a little seam. But look at the speed and the explosiveness that he has. He will just really accelerate, come in, and just drill that quarterback, knocking the ball. Just watch the ball just come flying, popping out. And Chin just once again shows that his versatility is showing his athleticism even that body control just he didn't lose any space he didn't lose any uh, momentum when he curled up into that line and and just made that hit overall there's a lot to like about Jeremy Chin as a prospect and as I mentioned at the beginning there's a lot of talk that he could be the top safety taken uh, there, there's not a lot of true free safeties in this this class and I think if you look at the true kind of, not box safeties, but kind of that strong safety, you've, you've got Jeremy Chin, you've got Grant Delpit, and you've got uh, Kyle Duggar 
are kind of your three guys. And those in a group, and I, I think Chin's got the possibility to be that first one. Now, there's also some talk of can he be a linebacker? A lot of the clips that I showed you at the beginning kind of look like, hey, what if we slid him down? He is six foot three. He is 221 pounds. Maybe we add, you know, can we add another 10 pounds on him? And, you know, we're seeing NFL linebackers play at 230, 200, you know, between 225 to 240 pounds and have a lot of success. And in essence, a lot of linebackers today are basically, sa- you know, box safeties. And there's a guy named Isaiah Simmons who's going to be a, probably a top 10 pick this year, potentially a top five pick. Former safety who was moved to linebacker, kind of played all over Clemson's defense. There's a lot of people, and myself included, that think, hey, if you wanted Isaiah Simmons and you missed out on him, maybe in the early first round, maybe if you're in the early second round, you might be able to get him. Maybe you have to trade into the late first round. But Jeremy Chin could be considered not a, necessarily a lesser version, but kind of a, a, a tier down from what Isaiah Simmons can be. I mean, if you look at the two compared, Simmons was six foot four, two hundred thirty-eight. Jeremy Chin is six foot three, two hundred twenty-one pounds. Uh, Simmons ran a four three nine. Chin ran a four four five. I mean, that's not that big of a difference. Isaiah Simmons had a thirty-nine inch vertical leap. Chin had a forty-one. Simmons had a hundred uh, thirty-two inch broad jump. Chin had a hundred thirty-eight. So. The size is about the same, and Chin is just as good of an athlete. We just didn't get to see him on that national scale. So I'm very curious to see where Jeremy Chin is going to end up, what position he's going to be. I think he could be a good, strong safety in this league. I also think he could be a a linebacker. Heck, a good defensive coordinator in the NFL could just use him as a weapon, match him up where he needs to be. If it's at linebacker, if it's a box safety, it's a – covering tight ends it's covering running backs it's it's blitzing off the edge blitzing from the safety position i think he's gonna be a late first round early second round pick and i think uh i I just hope he goes to a creative defensive coordinator all right thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this the best way to get these is to subscribe so make sure you subscribe and hit that notifications Uh, make sure you follow me on twitter and instagram at draft underscore brian thanks for watching and until next time